Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you Pinocchio AI. So I saw this post on Blue Sky and someone was asking if anyone is interested in an easy way to install a lot of AI apps usually with just a single click. So, you can download Pinocchio from their website. So, in my case, Linux. So, I'm on my Intel N100 with Ubuntu 24.04. So we have to go to the releases page and there's actually also an ARM release and for Intel and AMD. So uh, I went with this one, the app image. So I already downloaded it so you have to make sure that it is executable. And what I also noticed was that on Ubuntu 24.04, Fuse doesn't work. Um, I saw some reports that Fuse 3 should be installed and working, but uh, well, didn't work for me. Uh, I also made a big mistake. Uh, don't install the package Fuse. Uh, because the Fuse package is a very old package. And I'm not going to install it, but I want to show you something. So the good thing is, is that it should ask you if you want to install it. But do notice that... Um, yeah, it's removing Fuse 3, but for some silly reason that yeah, I wasn't able to start an app image with Fuse 3. But the big problem is, is that it's also going to remove the desktop portal. And that will mean that you no longer have a proper login to your graphical desktop. So don't install the old Fuse package. So what you can do is install libfuse2. So you can see that I already installed it and I still have my GNOME desktop environment. So that should do the trick. And once that's done, then you can simply start it. Now we go to the Discover page. There's lots and lots of apps that you can install. Uh, not everything might uh, work for your computer. I only have a very modest Intel N100. Um, it does have 16 gigabytes of memory, uh, but also for me, not everything works. And sometimes you will also see that they say you need a NVIDIA graphics card. Um, and then probably you also need a uh, graphics card with enough memory. So. Yeah, just one of the more modern NVIDIA graphics cards, probably with uh, eight gigabytes or more. So here you can see, for instance, NVIDIA only. So, but um, it is possible to run some of them just with a Intel N100. So the thing that I want to show you here is Magnet. It is text to music. So 
So you can click download, download. And then you have to click install. Now that uh, might take a while, so uh, I'm going to pause and I'll come back when it's installed. So yeah, it, it some of these steps, they might take a while, so uh, be patient. Uh, so even if you think that it might have stopped, uh, I think here in the bottom it says two out of three. So as long as you don't see an error, just let it run. So now it's fully installed. So here you see, click the start tab. So we click start. So, well, I think it is started now so we can open the web UI and here we are so just for the sake of uh, this demo uh, I'm only going to do something with the magnet small 10 seconds and I'm going to go with just this default um, yeah, there, there's some options, but yeah, I'm not going to play around with that. So let's let it generate some music. So we'll click submit and you can see that it will start working. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back when it's done. So this took around 13 minutes, something like that. So with something as modest as an Intel N100 with the small model 10 seconds. Yeah, so let's just say just to round it a quarter of an hour, something like that. So let's listen to what it has created. And it has actually created two variations. So here's the other one. So, yeah, when it works, uh, Pinocchio is uh, really easy. So it is a couple of steps. Uh, first you download it, then you install it, and then you run it, and you open the web UI. So once you're done, uh, you can go back to the terminal. So here you can stop. It says disconnected. Uh, well, you can also delete it if you think that it wasn't really what you expected. Uh, there's an option to update. Um, or you can just go back to the discover page and try something else. So I think um, this has the potential to make things really, really much easier. The only thing is, is that perhaps um, 
yeah, I sometimes have the feeling that things might not work because of, uh, let's just say, minimum hardware specs, something like that. Perhaps it's something else, I don't know. But yeah, when it doesn't work, then yeah, you can try to find some help for it. But uh, that's usually with those things that when they make it really easy for you, then it's not so easy to fix things uh, because you don't know where you can try to fix things. So, um, yeah, I think the only downside that I saw was that it seems to uh, leave some traces in your terminal history. So that was something I didn't expect, especially when uh, you're just running an application, uh, but it's yeah, doing a lot of installation and I think that you see some of those traces in the history of your terminal but I guess that's uh, a small price to pay for making inst installing and running AI applications so all in all I think this is um, a very good start uh, well, it's always easy to say when you don't have the have to do the actual work, but um, to be really sort of monkey proof, then they might have to polish things up. Uh, so yeah, sometimes they say that you need an NVIDIA graphics card, but sometimes I also have the feeling that there might be some more minimal hardware specs. Um, but at least that's my suspicion. I'm, I'm not really sure. So, but yeah, if you wanna try out some AI applications and yeah, you don't wanna go to GitHub pages trying to figure out how to install things, how to run things, etc. Yeah, you can give it a go with uh, Pinocchio and uh, see if it works. So I hope you have fun with that. So that's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.